Well, hey everybody, today is uh, Tuesday, I think today's Tuesday, June the 7th, and I am here in beautiful, unbelievably beautiful Colorado, up in the mountains at about 10,000 feet, a little town called St. Elmo. First time I've ever been here, we're gonna do a little walk and talk. What does that say? Built in 1882. This is an old, old ghost town, actually. Look at this. I'm gonna narrate. You're gonna find out how uneducated I am here in this video. It says, that's a shoemaker from 1880. 1880, can you just imagine? Look at the age, look at the buildings. There's an outhouse over here. I mean, strolling along here. It is so striking, strikingly beautiful. I'm one who loves history. I love the Old West. I love the thoughts of the people, the rugged people that lived here, that tolerated the, it had to be miserable conditions. So envious of their grit and their strength and their determination. How inventive they were to overcome everything. This was a, I believe it was a silver mining area here at St. Elmo's. And uh, I know this is not the RV wingman typical video, but I never take a vacation. I'm taking one now. Look at these old houses. You can't go in them. And actually, uh, there's a little store down here. And supposedly the population of this ghost town now is like five or six people. Can you imagine? And uh, what does it say? State Historical Fund. I'll come over here and show you this. But if you're like me, I don't know, let me know. Do you like this kind of thing? Do you like ghost towns and the old west? Thinking about the people that were so much tougher than we are. We're all so arrogant, aren't we? I guarantee I'd be a casualty of war back in the old west. But look at this building. What a place to come and look around in the scenery. You know, I've been in the mountains, but these are, these are big old mountains here. These are 14,000 footers and, and bigger. So the air is thin, so old fat people like me have a hard time breathing. So you enjoying this? This is kind of a tour through St. Elmo in Colorado. That was uh, says the uh, building in 1882. Look at this one. There's a post office and a general store. Look at the old curtains. Can you just imagine? Some old woman. Yeah. I just think it's fantastic. The air is thin and clean and crisp and beautiful. Think of the stories. Supposedly, I think they said almost 10,000 people lived in this little community a long, long time ago when it was the mining community. There's a kind of a little, not really a museum, but look at the drapes. Wish we, we could go in and look around. But here it is, the start of summer vacation, and there's not many people up here. Surprisingly, haven't seen, I figured I'd see a couple of RVs coming up the, coming up the mountain, but I haven't seen any. What do we got here? The American House Hotel and Parlor. Look at this, I don't know if you can see it. Built in 1882. You had to be a rugged people, I'll guarantee you, to survive this this town and this country, as wild as it was. But you know what? There are some cabins. I'm kind of a prepper. If you watch this channel very much, you know that. I love to be pre prepared for just about anything that comes. These people up here, they all have to be prepared. I've seen some cabins. It's like, I could see myself in that cabin. When the world goes to you know what, I'd like to be hidden away self-sufficient up here with the other people that kind of live around St. Elmo. There's a deal down here. If anybody's been up to St. Elmo, you know, they call it the chipmunk crossing. You can go get uh, sunflower seeds, 
pay 50 cents or a dollar, whatever, they'll give you a bag of sunflower seeds and the, the chipmunks will jump all over you. You can feed them right off your lap. Well, this is interesting. Look, here's the fire department. <laughs> St. Elmo's fire. Look at this, there's the fire department. And all those containers, look what it says on them. Fire use only, water. Water, water, water. Just look at the scenery. Look way up there, above Timberline. Nothing can grow up there. Mountain goats, bighorn sheep. And really insanely, uh, insane hikers that are in good shape. That's a cool deal. It's a private residence. Check that out. And here's the chipmunk crossing I was telling you about. We'll kind of wrap it up with that. You know what? I lied. We're going to go on one other, the uh, the mercantile. You'll see what it's what the mercantile looks like. Check this out. Miners Exchange, St. Elmo's General Store, <laughs> Colorado's most original ghost town. You'll probably kick me out with this camera, but I just got to show you around. You too, ma'am. There's even like a, a guest house over here across the way. Check it out. Anyway, that's my little walk and talk today through St. Elmo in beautiful Colorado. Hope everybody's off to a good start to their summer. A safe, fun, uh, memorable summer. Um, you know, it's places like this. It's being in wide open places and taking a tour through history. Look at all the junk over here. God, I love it. That made me so unbelievably grateful. Grateful for how easy we have it. Because we do. I think it's, it's easy to take it for granted. The sacrifices that others have made. Not just our military and personnel and first responders. And all that, of course. But the people that came before us to, to allow us to be the lazy entitled arrogant folks that we have become there's that beautiful woman look at her in her mexican serape come down the street to catch me well thanks for being with me everybody let me know how you're spending your summer if you got any big plans you're going to be staying close to the close to the camp and prepping for whatever might be coming your way i don't know i may do another video later on today thank you so much for watching if you like to give us a thumbs up, I know it's not the RV wingman typical video, but this is not the typical RV subject I'm talking about. Come on, mama. Come on. Okay, go feed the chipmunks. All right. Watch this.
honey just if you'll sit down they'll come to you okay don't don't pull your hand away from them just sit down and be uh and be nice and still they'll come to you Toss it out there and see if they get it. They'll be back. They like the kids better than they like grown ups, I guess. You like this? Yes, I love it. I love it. There we go. You got it. There we go. How cute is that? We got Kira in a little bugger. <clears throat> All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. I'm Alan Warren, the RV Wingman. Y'all be safe, have fun, play nice. Don't leave your good manners at home. If you get a chance to come to St. Elmo, Colorado, you ought to. Look, they got they got chipmunks running across the, the front porch. They got hummingbirds. I mean, this is like an army of, an air force of hummingbirds. So get out. They were fighting a little bit ago. There we go. Very ter territorial. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody.